This is Chester Moore at 2012 ICAST in Orlando here with Mark with Humminbird. 360, you got my attention. <laughs> yeah, it's a really, really <laughs> exciting. Another innovation from Humminbird out there uh -huh. in the market. The 360 module that you're looking at here uh, basically delivers this pod here which is the, uh, is the sonar pod that gives you the incredible 360 degree imaging. Um, it deploys from the unit, it's, there's, a, there's a setting on the unit, but as well as you can manually do it here, you can see the pod will extend down. You can vary this down from anywhere from one inch to 29 inches down to customize it for your particular boat. So if you've got a very deep hull boat, boat, you want to go all the way down. Way down. But if you know you don't have to go all the way down, and this can be adjusted again anywhere in there. And what this does is again, very similar to side imaging technology, uh -huh. except internally in the pod, you know, it scans, uh, it scans internally in the pod to create a 360 degree image. So, for the first time ever for the recreational boat angler, what they get out of this is not only you know, they get forward looking sonar. So, part of this 360 is you can see what's coming in front of the boat. So if there's a stump or a rock ledge mm -hmm. out there, you can, you can, and it's an Ethernet based system, so it has an Ethernet cable that will run from this module up to your console unit, and you can Ethernet it up to your bow unit as well. So you can be sitting on your bow unit and watching as you're ready to fish with your rod in your hand. You can watch that creek channel, river ledge coming at you, or, or, or coming towards you, and you can position your boat and you can actually position your cast out there. You know how far out the object is, you know what angle it's at, and mm -hmm. you can make a precision cast. So that's really the key difference between this and side imaging is while side imaging is great for finding structure, you can't really fish the structure. With this, it's at its best when you're sitting still fishing the structure and understand exactly where you go. Now how far out each direction? So up to 150 feet in each mm -hmm. direction, so 150 feet radius out there, and then 150 feet maximum depth. And uh, maximum depth, and then uh, it works with any of our current line uh, side imaging Ethernet products, which today is the 798 HD, 898, 998, and 1198. And um, with you know, if you've already owned those products, yeah. you don't have to make an additional purchase yeah. except buy this module here, which retails for uh, 19.99. Wow! In the marketplace, and then you uh, do that and just link that up there. But uh, this is an exciting, you know, just one particular application that I absolutely love. That bass guys are going to go crazy about is you know, again you're bed fishing you know and it's a little bit chop on the water you can't see the bed a little bit of muddy water whatever this guy can show those beds and see the beds crystal clear out in front of it. you can actually target directly to those beds while you're sitting still there well you know kevin van dam showed us roy and i filming here the side imaging when it was kind of the new thing right and right. we were blown away with just what we were able to check out in that so i can't imagine that these guys bass pros are going to eat this one up absolutely it gives you just a complete view of everything that's within 150 feet of your boat so you see the stump out to the left the trees out to the right you can see schools of fish with it and you actually if you target in on those you can see them moving and actually see the fish if they're moving forward or after the boat now we're actually looking at 360 degree view right here and uh, so I can sit here in the front of the boat and I can go oh wow there's a you know there's a wreck or whatever it is behind me up here right. there's a bed in front of me this is incredible. Exactly. So you get these. We're in a zoomed-in mode here, mm -hmm. and so you just zoom the whole screen. But you can see the rock detail out here, yeah. off, off to the left. This is an old underwater submerged hydroelectric dam on a reservoir lake. Mm -hmm. You got some foundations here and some rock stubble there, but you understand the whole view out there. Looking through here, this is a submerged swimming pool. You can understand the kind of detail you get from this. There's the steps leading down into that submerged swimming pool on a reservoir lake. Um, Amazing. Deep water, we're in 152 foot of water here on Table Rock. You can actually see the bottom, but what's important is you can see the schools of fish. You can pick out where the big game fish are out here. And you can see them rolling around the boat there. And um, we got a, uh, a creek channel running here. This is on Lay Lake in Alabama mm -hmm. with an underwater bridge uh, located out there. So just kind of a feel. The quality of it is very similar to side imaging, yeah. except being just what flows behind the boat. You now have a complete command of, of everything in 360 degrees of the boat there. Yeah, that's great. Man. You can also, another feature is why you're, you can split screen between the 360 and your traditional 2D sonar, or you can put GPS over there as well. So oh, that, that just gives you a feel for what it looks like on the screen. Just like with side imaging also, 
if you see this uh, foundation you want to mark it, you just cursor right out to that, mark it, and you mark the GPS waypoint where that structure is out there. So that's a real key feature there as well. You can also, another great feature about this thing is you can target certain areas so you can you can you don't have to go 360 degrees. If you're just if you're you know, fishing docks out to the right, you can focus it down and then it's going to update much, much faster as you're just looking under those docks. Out there. So we appreciate your time. This is exciting. Good deal. Thanks, right, Justin. Thanks.